Hi, good evening everybody. This is Steve with Real Progressives. And the question keeps coming to us. What is a real progressive? What do you mean when you say real progressives? And I think most of you know what a real progressive is. But for those outside the circle, for those people that are still struggling with definitions, you know, a real progressive, in my opinion, and what we represent, is someone who's awake. It's someone who understands that we can't continue the way we've been going. It's someone who does not equivocate and understands what's at stake, who understands the issues that are at play. And even if you don't have a full grasp of the issues, you intuitively understand that things aren't fair. You intuitively understand that the system as it stands today isn't working for regular Americans. You understand that to fall in line, to fall in line and to support the system that got us where we are today won't satisfy anymore. It's not right. It's the wrong thing to do. You understand that to go along to get along means that millions of people will be left behind. You understand that to go along to get along is the exact opposite of what a real progressive is. A real progressive is all about the issues. They're not about the cult of personality. They're not about uh, that sense of joining and going along with the crowd. A real progressive understands that if we don't speak out, no one will. A real progressive is someone who cares much more about what you do than what you say. In this case of our politicians, we're looking for follow through. We're looking for real people that stand by their convictions and don't waver and don't sell us out and tell us the truth. That, that These are some traits. We're about truth. We don't want to be whispered to in our ear, told a story or a fib to make us feel better. We don't want to be told everything's going to be okay if everything's not okay. We want to be told exactly what's going on. And we have a stomach for hearing the truth. When it comes to issues... I think that the realm of possibilities for real progressives is far broader than any one, any one issue. But I think that we can all agree that some of them are citizen benefits in terms of health care as a right, education as a right, taking care of the environment, taking care of uh, disaffected groups and people who have been stepped on and kicked. Taking care of the people who can't take care of themselves. Um, you know, for Christians, you would think that those who are of religious um, backgrounds and sensibilities would even find a home within a real progressive world. Um, atheists, you would find home in a real progressive world because we're always seeking truth. We're always seeking science. We're seeking answers. A real progressive tries not to go into myths but keeps digging for truth. So we don't want to go to war. We're against war. We don't support war. War is a last resort and there's very few things that would constitute something that would be worthy we believe in due process. We believe in every person is innocent until proven guilty. We don't believe in the death penalty. The death penalty is a permanent solution to an unsolved problem. There's, we're above that. We're better than that. We can do better than that. A real progressive believes in rehabilitation, not punishment per se. A real progressive is trying to make the lives of every individual better, not just some individuals better. That's a huge difference between the vote blues 
and real progressive. Now, don't get me wrong. You could still be a Democrat and be a real progressive. I don't want you to confuse this. What I'm saying is, is that we're not seeking to buoy up just the bottom. We want all people, all of us, to be able to have the same benefits. We believe in the Constitution, but we believe in a living one. We believe in one that addresses the concerns of people. We believe in fighting against major corporations taking over our political system. We believe in every voice mattering and getting rid of the big money in politics. The list is super long. And I would suggest that the bulk of us, that in our world, are real progressive stands firmly against the drug war. A real progressive knows that if it were all about hard work, that we would have all been wealthy beyond words. That it is not about hard work. We have a class warfare. We have a rigged system in the United States. A real progressive takes the time to do research. They don't just say things. They actually know things. A real progressive helps each other learn. A real progressive does not in any way, shape, or form assume that others don't believe in hard work. So they don't sit there and say, your bad choices cost you the assistance you needed to survive. We believe everyone has the right to life and dignity regardless of their station in life regardless of their incomes, regardless of their choices. Now, obviously, we believe in the rule of law, and we believe in protecting our citizens from criminals. But the flip side is we believe in justice. We believe in a system of justice that includes fairness for all types, that we take into consideration factors that are systemic, that we accept the fact that our government and our country has a huge problem of systemic racism. We have a belief that all people deserve all the rights, all equality. All genders deserve equality. There should be no discrimination. Now, I'm not going to get into guns per se, because I know there's some divide there. But the fact is, is that we believe in non-violence. We believe in peace. We believe in getting rid of the fossil fuel industry and really taking the time to focus on clean energy, renewable energy. And we believe with all of our hearts that united we stand and divided we fall. But we don't unite around personalities. We unite around the issues. And the issues are that all of us, regardless of whether we like you or not, all of us deserve the basic protections, the basic rights that everyone has. We like to follow some parts of the New Deal. We'd like to expand the New Deal. We'd like to expand the great society. We'd like to do a whole lot less with prisons and a whole lot more with education. We would like to do away with private prisons. We would like to ensure that every parent can choose to spend time with their child without losing their job. We would like family and medical leave for our children. We believe in making amends for past wrongs, such as the American Indians, the indigenous people of the Americas, and slavery. We believe in making amends there, not just lip service. We believe in fixing the ills of society. We believe in love, but we're not afraid to fight. We're not afraid to mix it up. We're not afraid to protest and participate in our democracy. We're not afraid to call out when people go astray. We're not afraid to call out when someone is wrong on the issues, even if their name might be Bernie Sanders. 
we support the next progressive up. We don't bounce around when we know better. We don't vote the lesser of evils. We vote for the greater good. We don't gaslight our friends. We tell the truth. When we negotiate, when we campaign for a candidate, we tell the truth. We don't sit there and tell people their ideas are pie in the sky without doing our research. We don't think we have all the answers. We are always in a process of seeking truth. That is what I love about being a real progressive. That's what I love about this organization we're creating. And that's what I love about all of you who follow us. There is a kinship. We hit 70,000 real progressives today. That's pretty amazing. 70,000, think about that. that. That fills up a huge stadium. It's massive. And we started a YouTube channel. We've got our website getting ready to come out. We're going to have merchandise. We're going to be tying together with radio stations. We're going to be working with other progressives. And we're going to be building out a network that we can all rely on. We are part of this movement. We are from the Bernier bus side. We are from the Never Hillary side. We are for the Jill 2016 side. But more importantly, regardless of that, we are on your side. And we want to give voices to the regular people. We're not looking to give it to the elites. The elites have all the voices they need. And then some. We're doing this on a shoestring budget, sweat equity, and love and passion for the issues. We care about this movement more than anything else in the world. And we talk about it daily, round the clock. We have weekly meetings talking about how we can better ourselves, how we can improve what we're doing. We want to be a part of this movement going forward, and we want you all to be a part of that with us. You know, I think one of the most exciting things about this is that when you wake up in the morning and you know that you're excited to do Real Progressives, when you wake up in the morning, you realize you're excited to find truth and to really, really, really try and build something special, you know you got the right idea going. The feedback has been incredible. We have gotten so much feedback. Thank you all so much. And as our team grows in purpose, as our team grows in numbers, as our team grows in funds and resources, and we learn more about the technology available to us, we're going to be producing documentaries. We're going to be producing shorts. We're going to be producing quality editorials, right written. We're going to be doing live streaming. We're going to be trying to set a schedule so that you guys know, for whatever reason, we have 70,000 followers, and I don't think 70,000 people see when we go live. 70,000, and we got 48 watching right now, 50 watching right now. So we have to find a way to penetrate the Facebook algorithm so that we can expand that visibility, not just for us, but for the movement so that we can continue to build excitement. Because you see the lull. You see a lot of people talking about they don't have the same excitement, the same enthusiasm for Jill. Um, a lot of people are really, really burned out as a result of the shenanigans within the DNC and the way they screwed us over and the way they screwed Bernie over. But we still have a movement ahead of us. We still have a movement. I know some people are going to be trying to do everything within the party. There's some people out there trying to sheepdog folks into voting for Hillary. I promise you this, I promise you this, for those of you who never will support Hillary, this is a safe place for you. We're not going to sheepdog you tomorrow. We're not going to try and pull you in with some you know, fancy WebEx or some other thing to tell you if you're in a swing state, please vote for Hillary. We're not going to do anything like that. 
we're very straightforward in what our mission is. And the things I told you about are what a real progressive is. Remember, when we know truth, we don't equivocate. We don't go along to get along. We're the reason change will occur. If any change will ever occur, it will be because people like you and I and the rest of our team are able to stay firm in our convictions and knowing what it is we're fighting for. The minute that we give in, the minute we give in, the powers that be will sell us out without a united resistance. And it is a resistance. It's not a go along to get along so we can have our place in the pecking order within the establishment. It's to be a freaking thorn in their side, standing for righteousness, standing for what we believe in. And that, my friends, is what we're promising you. We may not be perfect. We may not have the fanciest this, that, and the other, but we will always be truthful to you. That I promise you, because this is not something for this is a pure expression of who we are. Every video we do, every post we make, everything that we do on the back end is 1000% something that we want to do and we believe in and we're fighting for you all. And if you like it, that's great. We really hope you do. But just know it is true. It is core. We're, there is no, there's no pander in us. There's so many places that'll pander. And I think you're probably in a few of those groups already that are already playing the pander game, that are already trying to grease skids into Hillary's camp. And you know what? More power to them. Whatever they want to do, whatever outcome they think for their children is the best thing. I, however, am doing this because I have children and I love them with all my heart. And I do not want them dying in a war that we don't need to be in. So I keep hoping and praying that we can build something where you guys, we can amplify your voices and we can amplify our own voices and we can bring conviction to the powers that be as we grow, as our reach expands, as our convictions together get more solidified, the more damage we can do to the establishment foundation. And the more we can begin to build a true revolution within the revolution. Because like I said, you've got people who are wavering. And there still are allies, even though they're not so strong. Even though they're a little bit cowardly. Even though they're slightly easily led by propaganda. They are still our brothers and sisters. And we have to pull them along too. But somebody has got to be the keeper of the progressive flame. And that has got to be someone who is non-equivocating, that understands the reason why there is a Donald Trump today is because of neoliberalism impoverishing people, taking away. I mean, when I was growing up, when I was younger, you could go to a company and say, hey, Mr. Man, can you please hire me? I'll do anything you want in the mailroom, whatever. I just want a chance at you know a career. And they would hire you into the mailroom. They would train you. You would get vacation. They would have office parties for your birthday. Not that that's a big deal, but just so you get the feeling of what I'm talking about. People cared about one another. And you didn't always look over your shoulder for when the next layoff was occurring. And they would train you. If you did a bad job, they'd bring you into the office and they'd sit down and have a chat with you. Because their goal was to make you last forever because it was more expensive to bring in a new employee than to keep one that they had already trained. Those days are over, folks. Thank you, neoliberalism. And that is what you see the Trumpers crying about. And rightfully so. They're pointing in all the wrong directions, but they're right about the problem. People are not able to get the kinds of jobs they want to choose to get, and they don't have the security to build a life so they're tight with their money, they're afraid, they're fearful. Who can blame them? The only blame that I have is where they direct their anger and who they scapegoat. But they got the right idea. The system is rigged and it's not working for them. 
It's up to us as real progressives to demonstrate all the things I said in the beginning of this broadcast and help bring them into the fold and show them, guys, seriously, we understand why you think it might be immigrants causing your problems. But it's really about our government not spending into the economy. It's not the Mexicans taking your jobs. It's not. And the people blowing people up, I promise you, it's the, the percentage is so small it could fit through an eye of a needle. It's not all Muslims. It's a handful of extremists that are, guess what, suffering to and unfortunately funded by neoliberalism. That's right. So our job as real progressives, as this group grows, is to continue to build bridges and show people, not to equivocate, it's to bring them to us, but we have to meet them at their point of need. We don't go over and join them. To me, joining up with Hillary is akin to joining up with Donald Trump. It's akin to doing something that I know is wrong in my heart of hearts. It's something I know inside me that I would never ever be able to live down. It, it's wrong. It's a wrong thing to do. It's very dangerous for people who have military age kids. It's very dangerous for our nation, given the kind of clandestine dealings that the Clintons have and their network of people around the world. They're very, very dangerous people. Donald Trump is crazy as all get out. But the Clintons, their establishment, true establishment. And they know everybody in every back door. And when they say they're a progressive who will get things done, they'll get things done. It just won't be things we want them to get done. And here's the most important thing about a real progressive. We understand that whenever the Democrats do something incrementally, when they get an incremental win, they rest on those laurels. They believe they're finished with the problem. They believe they've solved health care. They believe that the ACA, which is an insurance company bailout, they believe that they have solved health care. There is no point in going for single payer. And let me tell you, folks, we know that the minute that the Democrats, at this point in time, until we change them or we find a new home, we know that they get self-satisfied with their tiny victories. And they, they'll wear that thing out for a full four years. Wow, you remember back in the beginning when Obama put out the stimulus package? What was that, 2008, 2009? I mean, guys, we still need stimulus, right? But instead, we got stuck with the sequestration that cut everything. And now, you're watching a private debt bubble occur without any activity from our government. And we're going to have another recession, I promise you. This is not like some, you know, far off thing either. We've got a huge trade deficit of roughly $500 billion a year. And we've cut spending to negative. We're at a point now where we are at break even are actually with a surplus again. And the last time we had a surplus, we had a massive recession right on the heels of it. Because taking a surplus is taking money out of the hands of you and I. That's it. Surpluses are awful at the federal level. And that's the kinds of stuff that we're about to see. So real progressives take the time to understand not only economics, but real progressives also take the time to debunk myths and stop people from bragging about deficit reduction. That's right. We are about to hit a recession of epic proportions with the student debt industry. These people are preying on our children. They're preying on all of us. Many of us will never be out of student loan debt the rest of our lives unless something changes. The usury for any deferments is unbelievable. It's criminal. And we as real progressives stand against that. 
So as we build our core, as we build our network, as we build our relationships with each of these brand new Congress, you know, media people like Tim Black, as we continue to grow with the different activist organizations and we create a bigger network, our goal will be to provide you with as much information as possible so you can take action. And we ask you to provide us information so that we can get it out to the world as well. It's a win-win. It's a circle. We keep feeding each other. Let's take advantage of this huge platform. You realize we're bigger than Bernie Sanders activists? We are. We're bigger. We're bigger than a lot of places. And we don't operate like your typical page. This is almost like a giant group. The only difference is, is that you can share everything and that we can somewhat control the content so you don't have the trolls coming through. So we're asking you guys to help us get the word out. Help us find out what's happening. When you know that something's going on somewhere, if you don't see us actively reporting on it, Get it to us. Let us know so we can get that information out to the widest reach possible. This is about us. There is no gatekeepers of the progressive cause and real progressives. There are some gatekeepers around that like to keep information tight to themselves so they can become a star. We're not trying to build stars. We're trying to build a movement. And I hope you guys can trust in that and believe in that and be able to rest assured that if we say something... We're truly one of you. We're just like you and we're part of you. And we're not going to lead you down a non-progressive path that involves equivocating. So I, I think I like my nighttime chats better than my daytime chats. You guys are great. You guys really give a lot of good feedback. And I think that maybe it's even more appreciated at night than the mornings. But... I don't know, I seem to be willing to talk about economics more when I wake up in the morning after my first cup of coffee. But uh, I'm just really excited about where this group is going. I'm really excited about the team that I've got supporting me. I wish I had the roster in front of me. I'm sure I'd leave somebody off if I went to thank everybody. But just trust me when I say this. We have a team that is on a chat, like literally around the clock telling each other, did you see this video? Do you have this? Hey, hey, did you upload that to the YouTube channel? Hey, did you send that to Twitter? I mean, folks, we're, we're really, really, really trying to make the most massive impact of them all. Please follow us on Twitter. Follow us on YouTube. Follow us here. Help share our stuff. Help us grow. And I promise you, we will continue to hit hard and we will not equivocate you don't have to worry. You don't have to guard yourself. We will not equivocate. And you have freedom to ask questions. If we say something that doesn't make sense, especially when I do economics, I don't want to be right. I want you to understand. So if I say something and it doesn't come out right or you don't get it, folks, I'm not doing this for myself. I want you to learn. I already figured this stuff out. If you disagree with me, tell me why. Show me something. We'll work it out because I want to fund this revolution. Folks, we're the only page that talks about true progressive economics. Every other page talks about, well, look at this and look at that. And that's great for them. We want to actually change the rudiments of everything that the establishment is doing. And that, my friends, starts with debunking myths and teaching us how to fund the revolution and staying organized, mobilized, and together. So I thank you all very much for being a part of our group. Thank you all for following us. Thank you for being so supportive. You make every day worth doing this. I swear, I love you guys so much. Y'all have a great night. Kiss your loved ones. See you tomorrow.